Hey, how's it going guys? I'm Silowell, and for this week's video, we'll take a look at the newly released battle frame, the Dreadnought. This battle frame is tank-like, uses heavy machine guns, and can soak up more damage than any other battle frame in the game. The Dreadnought's primary weapon is the heavy machine gun. This is a Gatling style weapon with rotating barrels. Most people refer to this as the minigun. One of the alt fires for the Dreadnought is a toggleable energy shield that will block shots and possibly reflect them as well, so Dreadnoughts will be most vulnerable from the back. Because they are a tank like battle frame, the Dreadnought has a heavy armor module that reduces the damage of incoming fire from enemies. One of the Dreadnought's abilities is called Dreadfield. It has a 6 meter radius and saps all energy sources within the field and channels the energy back into the Dreadnought which causes increased damage. Since abilities and using jetpacks consume energy, players will want to get out of the Dreadfield as fast as possible. Another one of the Dreadnought's abilities is called Turret Mode. This one is pretty sweet. It locks the Dreadnought in place and increases accuracy and fire rate, but it also leaves the Dreadnought vulnerable when entering and exiting Turret Mode. To take care of this weakness, there are two modules to provide help to the Dreadnought. One is Repulsor Blast, which knocks back enemies in all directions and also does some damage. The next one is Thunderdome. This creates a force shield around the Dreadnought that prevents all incoming damage for a few seconds or traps enemies that are inside of it. The strengths for this battle frame include a large health pool, approximately 2,000 hit points, soaks up damage better than all the other battle frames, the primary weapon has the largest clip size of all the other battle frames, and is dominant in close quarter combat. Weaknesses include slowest movement speed, heavy energy dependent, so the Dreadnought will have to manage his jetpack usage, he also has limited range with his heavy machine gun, and loses accuracy after the first few shots, and is extremely vulnerable in open areas. The Dreadnought reminds me of the Heavy in Team Fortress 2, and if anyone has played TF2 before, you know that wherever there is a Heavy, there is also a Medic. I also suspect the same thing in Firefall. Medic and Dreadnought will be a deadly combination of battle frames. I know there was a lot of discussion on the forum on whether he is a tank or not, but it doesn't matter what you call him. He has tank-like attributes in my opinion, but he obviously won't have the same aspects of a tank in an MMO, because remember, this is a shooter game. As I said before, the Dreadnought medic combo will be deadly and I think it will be used in a slow push type of offense. Even though the Dreadnought will be slower compared to the other battle frames, I still think he has the capability of pushing on the front lines. Defense is where it gets interesting. Not only can you have an engineer locked down one point with his own turrets, a Dreadnought could also excel in this aspect of the game. He can use his turret mode and deal tons of damage to enemies with his increased accuracy and fire rate. I really like the addition of the Dreadnought battle frame and what it brings to the table for competitive PvP. Tell us what you think of the new battle frame and its place on the battlefield in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit that like button below and to subscribe to the channel. I'll see you all next week.